Hey guys, welcome back to my channel AG Motion Designs and in today's video we are going to create this Google logo animation inside of After Effects with the help of Adobe Photoshop. So if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here we are in Adobe Photoshop, I have this Google file over here which means Google logo file which is in the PNG format, you can easily get this file from Google itself. So now first thing we need to do, we need to separate each and every alphabet on the separate layer. So for that I am going to select my rectangle selection tool and I will select this G first, then I will hit Ctrl X to cut it, I will create a new layer and I will press Ctrl Shift V to paste in place and this same procedure we will need to follow for all the alphabets like this so hit ctrl x create new layer and press ctrl shift v again we will select this o we will hit ctrl x create a new layer press ctrl shift v and we will follow the same thing for this g ctrl x create a new layer press ctrl shift v also we will select this l we'll hit ctrl x new layer press ctrl shift v and now all the layers are on the separate layer now double click and let's call it as g let's call it as o o G L E and now we will save this logo file in our computer as a Photoshop file like this. Now then go to the After Effects, create a new composition. I will call it as me animation. Resolution is 1920 by 180, frame rate is 30, duration is also 30 seconds, and you can choose 10 second long only like this. Let's choose 10 second longs and background color is white and simply hit OK. Then go to choose grid and guide option and hit on Titus reflection. Then press Ctrl I on your keyboard to select this Photoshop file. I'll select this Photoshop file. I'll go to the footage. I'll choose composition, return layers and sizes and I'll simply hit import and hit OK. So we'll get this file over here. Now double click to open this. Hit Ctrl A to select all of them and hit Ctrl C to copy. Now go to main animation and hit Ctrl V like this let's move this over here now right click new and create one null object select all of them and make it parent with this null one select this null one press s and let's in decrease the size like this now press p for position and bring this thing at the center and press s and let's decrease increase the scale properly and let's move this somewhere around over here with the help of arrow keys and we will adjust it properly at the center and then we will delete this null object like this okay so all the things are done now now we have to focus on this g first so for that what we will do i am going to select all of them and i'll hit ctrl d to duplicate it and i'll bring them at the top like this i'll select this remaining ones i'll press ctrl shift c and i'll call it as reference here and hit ok and we will hide this for now Sorry for the spell mistakes but you know it's a reference layer and select all of them and we will enable this and now we will go to the align tab we will align it horizontally each and every one and we will align it vertically also and let's move this over here now first thing we need to focus on gen g so i'll hide all of them like this now we will create one ellipse and i don't want any strokes so i'll delete the strokes like this and now for the color go to the fill with the help of the speaker i'm going to choose this color like with the, like this blue color and i'm going to create one ellipse over here then press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center select the shape layer go to the align tab and align it vertically now select the shape layer press p for position create one keyframe go to around two seconds and select this align tab and align it horizontally like this so if you see we will get this kind of animation now right click new and i'm going to create one null object now select this shape layer and make it apparent with this null one select this null one press r for rotation create one keyframe over here go over here and let's make it 180 and let's see what we can get we will get this kind of rotation and now it's 180 so let's make it 360 which means one complete rotation and if you see we will get something like this now what we are going to do we will select this null object press s and let's scale it so we can see this thing 
let's select this and let's move this over here somewhere around like this okay so it's not gonna work so hit control set let's not decrease this one like that now at this point when, what i'm gonna do i'm gonna select this g and i'll make it parent with this shape layer so now this g is also gonna move around with this shape layer now at this point i'm going to select this g i'll press s for scaling option let's create one keyframe over here let's go over here and create another keyframe and let's go over here and let's make this zero now select those keyframe and hit f9 so you get something like this you can move the scaling option over here also now hit u select this null object and shape layer keyframes and hit f9 so we'll get something like this okay so this is how you can create this kind of animation now when this G is gonna appear I'm going to select this shape layer I'll press T for opacity I'm going to create one keyframe over here hit page down button two times and let's make this opacity zero now select those keyframes and hit F9 so we will get this kind of transition effect you can move this a little bit over here also so if you see we will get something like this now hit u i'm going to select all of these three layers and i'll press ctrl shift c and let's call it as g and hit ok now in project panel we will get this g now hit ctrl d to duplicate it hit enter and let's call it as o and hit ok and we will move this over here like this let's hide this g for now now we will select this o right click reveal reveal layer in source project so as you can see this o is over here now let's go inside this o we will select this g and hit u and make sure that you are after the two keyframe i mean two frames and now as you guys know that this is my o so i'm going to select this g and this o and by holding alt i'll simply drag and drop on this like this now select this shape layer go to the fill and with the help of this speaker i'm going to choose this red color <coughs> sorry so we'll get something like this so if you see this in main animation we have this g first and also we have this o so both of them are separated now select this o hit or you can simply go to the main animation you can see we have this over here hit ctrl d to duplicate it and simply bring this over here now double click to open it as you can see this is o2 now uh, we have used this o now we need to use this also right click reveal to reveal layer in source project we have to choose this o so let's go to this o2 we will select this o and by holding alt i'll simply drag and drop on this one so it will change this also select this shape layer go to the fill with the help of the speaker i am going to choose this yellow color so we have this o2 also and this one and now select this o2 hit ctrl d to duplicate it double click hit ctrl k to open the project settings and let's call it as g and now go to the logo layers as you can see we have this g and this g we have to replace this g with this o and select this o by holding alt i'll drag and drop on this one select the shape layer go to the fill with the help of the speaker i am going to choose this blue color hit ok now we will go to the main animation and we will bring this g over here like this now select this g hit ctrl d hit enter and let's call it as l double click to open this now as you can see we have l over here so select this g by holding alt i'll replace it select this shape layer go to the fill and choose this green color and hit ok like this now select this l hit ctrl d hit enter and let's call it as e and ok double click to open this as you can see we have e over here select this l by holding alt i'll replace it with this e select this shape layer go to the fill select this picker and we will select this e and hit ok now go to the main animation we will bring our l then our e also so now we have each and every layer for google spelling we will delete these things from here and let's close this because we have successfully replaced each and every one like this so now all we need to do we need to adjust them according to our reference layers so let's hide these things for now we have this g so press p and let's move this over here 
let's move this over here now select this reference earlier press t and let's make the opacity 40 now disable enable this op uh, press v and you can adjust it with the help of moving tool also you don't always need to work with the help of arrow keys you can move it like this then this g then this l then this e like this now let's hide this reference layer and if you see this animation now we will get something like this now we will select all of them and make sure to enable this option like this so you get something like this now uh, actually i have forgot to do one thing we will go to each and every one like this one we will select this shape layer press s create one keyframe initially go few frames forwards and then create another keyframe on scale go to the start and let's make the scale zero let's move this over here like this now select sorry select those keyframe and hit f9 to copy those keyframe and hit ctrl c have hit f9 to make this easy and ease and hit ctrl c go to each and every shape layer and hit u so it will paste these keyframes so basically we are pasting the scaling animation like this so if you see we are getting something like this now zoom in a little bit hit page down button two times select this oh move this over here again page down button two times select this move this over here so we will adjust them like this yep now right click new and create one null object select all of them and make it apparent with this null one like this select this null one press s and scale it like this so we will get something like this and if you want you can increase the scale so with the help of that you can create this kind of google animation now you can select all of them press ctrl shift c and let's call it as animation hit ok hit ctrl d to duplicate it select the second layer go to the effect and presets panel and search for find edge effect and invert it hit page down button two times select this animation and let's move this over here let's hide this animation and let's see what we have over here okay so we don't need to invert it like this let's enable this animation so as you can see we are getting something like this you can bring this layer downwards also let's move this over here now you can select this with the help of position keys you can either adjust this logo like this or you can simply move them over here you can press T for opacity and let's make this opacity 40 so yep, this is how you can create this kind of Google logo animation and then press ctrl Y to create a solid BG and let's bring this backward and at around 3 seconds I'll hit N so yep this is how you can create a simple google logo animation so that's it for the today's video we will see you in my next video so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates until then stay tuned